so let me turn off the radio. I'm heading into Skin Farm right now to get my first microneedling PRP treatment. So what they're gonna do is they're going to take my blood, um, they're gonna spin off all the red blood cells, and then they're going to use that plasma to put back onto my face to help the healing process, to help with collagen building, and then they're gonna take that plasma and they're also gonna inject it under my eyes. So, excited to see how it's gonna work. The microneedling's gonna help with some of these scars that I have from past um, acne, pimples, and just help with overall texture of my skin. So they just applied the numbing cream because microneedling is essentially giving a bunch of little, what did you say? Micro injuries. Yeah. Micro injuries all over your face. So without the numbing cream, it might not feel great. So next what she's gonna do is she's going to draw my blood and this is for the PRP and she's just going to spin off my red blood cells so it's not like the old school Kim Kardashian vampire <laughs> facial. It won't look that way. Yep. It'll be gold instead of red. So it's just plasma, it doesn't have any blood product as far as red blood in it. And I'm going to not watch the needle go in my arm because- One, two, three, deep breath, good. I'm a baby. No, you're doing great. Plasma essentially has your own growth factor in it. So it floods the skin with um, collagen and elastin to help repair the skin. And with that being said, collagen and elastin are two of the um, products in our skin that we start losing at age 18 that kind of start to give us that kind of like just dull look to our skin. Um, we start to lose that firmness to our skin because of it. And so by creating these little micro injuries, our um, body floods the skin with collagen and elastin to help heal the skin. But then that growth factor stays there and continually just kind of promotes the production of collagen and elastin to keep plump the full skin. So that's what it does. Um, refined pore size, it does a bunch of different things. So we're doing the filler with it. It's not gonna work like traditional filler where it's gonna keep it doesn't. filled. It doesn't keep filled because you have to remember it is your own plasma. So it's just blood product that gets reabsorbed by the body but those components of the growth factor stay there to just keep promoting the production of collagen and elastin. So essentially it is permanent, but unfortunately we don't quit aging, so we have to keep doing it. So why would someone do PRP instead of filler? So some people just aren't ready for filler yet. Um, some people are a little bit nervous about putting a foreign um, product into their body, so we'll go with the PRP just to help promote their production of collagen and elastin there to fill in fine lines and wrinkles or help with like structural support. Um, some people, like if we're targeting under eyes, sometimes that skin there is a little bit too thin to where if we put a big chunk of filler up under it, you would see it. So sometimes we help improve the integrity, integrity of the skin there to build up the skin so that when we do go in to put filler that you can't see it there anymore. Awesome. So you said it's the plasma is now separated? So the plasma, yep, it's up at the top. This is just like a gel separator that comes in the tube and it separates all this platelet-rich plasma or the PRP from your red blood. And then you're just gonna put that into some syringes? Yep, we're gonna put it into some syringes and then that's what we will be injecting and then also needling into your skin during the microneedling procedure. That stuff probably stinks, I'm sorry. It's okay. So she's just wiping off the numbing cream yeah. and the areas it's that she's like going off. to inject my plasma first. What hurts more, the injections or the microneedling? Right? Injections, for sure. Oh, that one was tender, sorry. So, she just injected my plasma, as you guys saw underneath my eyes, and then, secondly, she added some in my smile lines, and this is gonna stay full for about three days, and then it'll go back down to normal and just help my body produce that collagen on its own and hopefully with either more treatments and time, it'll just start to fill itself back out. Yep. And now we're gonna start the, what's this, the plasma? Microneedling. This is the plasma that will needle into your skin with this little tool here. So you just kind of squirt it on it my on skin? I topically and okay. then as, this helps me glide, but then also as I'm making the little controlled injuries, I'm able to needle your own growth factor, your um, own platelet-rich plasma down into your skin. So this is like, 
microneedling on steroids. Yeah, so you, exactly. Is it so you help you heal faster? You heal faster because it's your own growth factor, and then the production of collagen and elastin is just, um, you know, even more so than what we would do if we used a foreign growth factor. So the main growth factor started. So I've already put the plasma on your skin. You can just kind of feel that I'm gliding over. Oh, it smells like that thing. Yeah. So a lot of times people say it doesn't hurt or some people even say it's a little bit therapeutic. I feel like it just kind of feels like little tiny vibrations. Yeah. It doesn't feel bad at all. This is like a zero and I would say like the injections is like a four or five. Yeah. Injections is probably worse for sure. So it's been a few hours since I got microneedled. I believe like four hours. So I just want to give you guys wait for it to register an idea of what my face looks like so more than anything I look really sunburnt I definitely feel windburn the pain was like five out of ten I would say like the injecting was the five out of ten the microneedling was like a zero out of ten other than like a couple core spots so she just did her injections right here my smile lines underneath my eyes and then she took any extra plasma and she injected it into where I have some acne scars just to, again, help with those areas. So uh, we'll see kind of how I look in the next couple days. I'll kind of show you guys my progress. Most people that get PRP underneath their eyes experience bruising. She said she doesn't think I'm gonna bruise. Before my procedure, I made sure that I haven't had alcohol. In the last week, I made sure that I didn't have any blood thinners or fish oil supplements, that's another one that I took out of my diet just to be safe. So hopefully there's minimal bruising and then this redness will just turn into dry flakiness, peel off and five days my skin will look great. In like two weeks, you know, like a solid two weeks once my skin heals, I'll probably consider getting a facial followed by a peel or vice versa. So yeah, I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow. So I just woke up, it's day two. So if I have any bruises, it's just this inner corner so far. As you can see, it kind of looks like just a bad windburn. My face does feel chapped and tight though. So this is day three. So you can see, it's just very dry. Redness has gone down. Oh my God, the sunlight so you guys can see. So it looks like I never got any bruising. There's nothing underneath my eyes or around my mouth. The swelling has gone down, as you can see. So today is day four. You can see I'm peeling pretty strongly on my chin. Everywhere else is still dry, but it's starting to peel off. You can see these acne scars. This one's still pretty strong. Um, but these ones are starting to diminish a lot and my pore size My blackheads and everything he through here are like Non-existent so so far like I am absolutely loving the pore size all of that just this flaking I'm ready for it to be done. I can't imagine doing this like once a month and spending five plus days having my face flake off. I don't think that's super realistic. So You know this just gives me an idea for future treatments of when I want to do it, how often, all of that. So I want to give you guys an update on my skin. I would say it's probably been two or three months since I got my PRP microneedling. So I would say I love the results in my under eye area. Um, I feel like my smile lines look substantially better. I'd say my acne scarring is diminished greatly. So I would definitely suggest it. I'm going to definitely do it again. I'm just going to wait until it's not summertime um, because you can't go out in the skin the sun for a while to protect your skin since you know you essentially just gave your skin a bunch of different injuries but yeah I really like the results yeah I would say 10 out of 10 really enjoyed it if you guys have any questions just go ahead and comment below and I will do my best to answer you know to my abilities and thank you to Madeline at Skin Farm she did a fantastic job